Okay, so here I am. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to open the M11X R3 today. Uh, the reason why I have to open this up is because I actually screwed up the uh, the uh, OCZ Vertex 3 that I originally bought. Um, the Alien FX wouldn't work. Uh, I was missing the drivers and everything. So essentially what I did was I borrowed my friend's uh, hard drive. Um, and then I cloned that hard drive onto this uh, OCZ using a Cronus. Uh, I'll make another video on how to do that later on. But essentially to take this apart, you just have to get yourself one of these little uh, screwdrivers, unscrew this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this one, this one, and this one. And then there's three little latches right here. So you kind of have to lift up and pull out at the same time, just like this. All right. Oh, um, actually, this screw is still in there. It's not all the way. So there it is. So those are the three latches. And it goes right in there. So just as a safety precaution, uh, pull out the battery connector, which is right here. So just pull this out right now. Now the battery is disconnected from, um, from everything. This is a hard drive right here. So what you do is you unscrew these four screws. And I'll just do this quickly here. Um, and then uh, maybe this video will be in two parts. But there, sorry, there's only three screws that holds on to this. So this is the old one. So what you want to do is you want to pull upwards, not towards the right. So where this flap is. So just like that. And you just pull it right out. Make sure all, of course, you make sure all the screws are unscrewed first. Like this here. This one is still not unscrewed all the way. So what you do is this is a hard drive. Um, and this is my friend's hard drive that came with his uh, Alienware. So what you do is there's another four screws here. You just take it right off this Actually, pull off the connector first, and the connector, you just pull straight out. Do not pull up or anything. Try not to touch the connecting pins, as this may screw things up. So, just take that off, and then unscrew these four screws here. Um, put that connector back onto the uh, your, your new drive. Um, and then you want to reconnect everything again afterwards. Uh, so, let me just quickly as quickly as possible, but at the same time, safely remove this thing without ruining the hard drive. Um, uh, so here it is. So that's the hard drive. Do not let it touch anything that has a static charge buildup on it. Um, if you do, it, it may screw it up. So this is where it's supposed to go into. Uh, actually, I forgot which way. Uh, let's take a look here. So... It's probably good to take a few pictures as well before you uh, proceed and and uh, before proceeding and, and and removing all the parts because it's very easy to forget which part belongs to where. So I just put the connector back into here. Um, try not, again, try not to touch the pins. So this connector will go down here like this and into uh, that slot over there. So. This is what it looks like. So make sure uh, it's pointing downwards, and then it has to go in like this, um, depending on the brand. So this is my new uh, OCZ Vertex 3 that I, I just purchased. Um, so now it has, I just cloned it the, the uh, using a Cronus, I cloned the, the, all the original drivers, files, and everything on, onto, onto this drive right here. So, and a Cronus uh, you can get for free, um, like especially the trial version, 15 day trial version, it has all the full features, everything. So, I mean, if, if you like it, definitely buy a copy off, off the Acronis website. And I think I'm going to go buy it, purchase a copy. It's, it's not even that expensive right now. It's just $40. But if this works, I would definitely, definitely buy the copy. Um, and then uh, I guess in my next video, I will show you whether... I was successful or not at cloning the, the hard drive. So, uh, this is a little stiff. Try not to force it in, but if you have to, you know, do your thing to get it in there. Um, I'm not sure why. This one is so hard to put in. There's something wrong with the thread here. Uh, 
All right, so all four screws are in now. So one, two, three, four. Make sure there's no dust or anything on the connector. So if you take a look at this closely, that's where the 16 gigs of RAM are. There's two slots. Um, that's your battery. That's the connector to the battery. So now what you want to do is you want to connect this end into that socket right there and push down. You want to do this very carefully because you do not want to mess this thing up. All right, so now it's in there nice, nice and snug. Um, and then you just screw the three screws back in just to make sure everything is in place. And it's as simple as that in changing the hard drive. Unfortunately, I do not have the original Samsung SSD. Um, I sold that one already. But that was a SATA 2, but this system here can take a SATA 3. So now the last step, now that this thing is in, you know, it's not going to come out. Reconnect the, uh, reconnect the battery. And you just push down on this thing. There's no need to unscrew the battery to take it out. So, all right. So now that's that's back in there. Placing this back, you want to put those three nubs back into the three little sockets there. Down, and then you just screw all of these in. Okay, and the video is good. Let's uh, let's turn it off. Let's